Hello Bond Bakers and welcome back to my channel, you're with Nicole and if you're new here I share lots of delicious home style recipes as well as baking tips and tricks so you have come to the right place if you are looking for something delicious. Today we are going to be making mini carbonara quiches. I wanted to do something for my savoury peeps, I am one of them. I've been doing a lot of sweet recipes lately so this one is for you. I've got all my ingredients ready so let's get to it. These mini quiches are pretty cool because they're cooked with the spaghetti in it, they've got the egg mixture, we're adding some bacon and I've added some spinach and parsley as well so it's going to be absolutely delicious and literally tastes like carbonara but in a mini quiche. These mini carbonara quiches make a delicious lunchtime meal. You can add a little bit of salad to it or have it by itself. It's a little bit unique if you're looking for something a little bit different to your usual quiche. So let me show you what you are going to need. So we have some thickened cream, some chopped spinach, ch some chopped parsley, which I just picked from the garden. I also have some finely grated Parmesan cheese, some egg, and over here I have some bacon and garlic, which I've just cooked very slightly. And I also have over here some spaghetti, and I've used angel hair spaghetti, and I've pre-cooked this so it's all ready to go. I also have some salt and pepper here, which we're just gonna sprinkle on top before they go into the oven. And for all of the quantities, I will leave them in the description box below for you. And for the full recipe to download and print for free, head to lebonbaker.com. A couple of other things that you will need for this recipe. One of them is a whisk and some tongs. I also have here a muffin tin or muffin tray, which I'm just going to spray now. Uh, with a bit of oil. Last but not least, you will need to preheat your oven, turn it on to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The first thing that we are going to do is grab our cooked bacon here and we're going to pour it into our pasta mixture and then we're just going to toss it to combine. When you cook your bacon with that garlic, the smell is just amazing. It's already got me excited for this recipe. Next up, we are going to combine our eggs and our cheese here with our cream. And we're gonna give it a good mix until it's nice and well combined. So just toss it all into a jug if you've got one. I have my handy dandy mini whisk here, which I love to use. Now from here, I'm gonna add in my chopped spinach and mix that in as well. Just gonna move away these bowls here. And don't need this one anymore. Our parsley here can stay off to the side. We're going to use that at the end to garnish our beautiful mini carbonara quiches here. So this is all gonna to come together now. Let's gonna move that off to the side. Now going back to our pasta and our bacon mixture here, what I'm gonna do is start putting this into the tins here and they can just go straight in and we wanna try and make them as even as possible but you know, just guess, it doesn't have to be perfect. So we want a little bit of pasta and a little bit of bacon in every one. All right, so I have probably less in these back ones, got a bit excited at the beginning. So I'm just gonna go grab a little bit of this and even it up a bit. There we go, that's better. And now there's some leftover bacon in here, so just go ahead and top them up. Mm -hmm. 
with your egg mixture. We're just gonna give it that one last whisk before we start pouring it over the top. And again, it just doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to estimate about the same for each one. So probably do a little bit in each one and then go back and top it up. Back to the beginning we go. So I'm just gonna flatten them down just a little bit, um, just to make it more even and move all around that mixture here. That is our mini carbonara quiches prepped already. It comes together really quickly, doesn't it? So now it's going to go into the oven until they're set for about 17 minutes, but you wanna just check yours as always. I almost forgot, salt and pepper. So just go ahead and put a little bit on each one. Salt and pepper to taste. I don't know about you, but I love cracked pepper. Now they're ready to go into the oven. I have cleaned up my dishes like a good human and my mini carbonara quiches are almost ready to come out of the oven, but you know what the time is. It's time for me to share a really positive mantra with you to send out those good vibes. So I found a quote for you today and the one I found is, Read more books than status updates, look into more eyes than screens, hold more hands than devices, and love more than you judge. A quote by Anonymous, and in today's world of literally being addicted to screens and phones, it's just a nice reminder to be present in the moment with the people that you are surrounded by. So just a little note, make more real world connections. It's time to get our quiches out of the oven. Yum, they are sizzling away. Oh my gosh, my mouth is starting to water because I can smell the cheese coming through, that Parmesan cheese. Ah, oh, it's gonna be amazing. And the little bits of pasta I can see have started to crisp up around the sides. And yeah, looks and smells amazing. You can continue to brown them a little bit more if you like, but try not to overcook them. You want them so that they are just set and we're gonna leave them in the pans for just a few minutes um, to continue to set and cool a little bit. These can be eaten hot or cold, sprinkle with some parsley, um, top with some more salt and pepper if you like. They will be absolutely delicious. I am so ready to eat one of these. So you probably need to grab a knife and just run it around the edges here of that muffin tin just so it comes out nice and easily. And then just try and pop him up, 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 up. There we go. Look at that little beauty. Still got some steam coming off and you can see some of the textures here of that spaghetti. And oh my goodness, all that cheese on top. I'm gonna cut this open now. Oh, check it out. So mine's still hot. They will continue to set if you do let them cool for longer, but they are so delicious, nice and warm as well, because you get that creaminess and all of that Parmesan. Oh, that looks like a good bite. Mmm. Whoa. I am not going to be able to stop eating this. So delicious. Wow, this is incredible. If 
If you are umming and ahhing about making this recipe, I can tell you now, just do it. You're not gonna regret it, it's so delicious. The texture is really amazing because it's got those little bits of spaghetti coming through and it actually isn't too eggy in flavor. It's actually got more of a nice delicious creaminess that comes through and you get the little pop of garlic as well. I, I even forgot, I got so excited, I forgot to add my parsley here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, adding this to the top. But honestly, this is so amazing. Please make it at home. You will not regret it. It's that good, it deserves a spaghetti dance. <laughs> you have to make that look decent. So if you're gonna make this recipe, you need to do the spaghetti dance as well. Thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen today. I really hope that you love this recipe and if you do, or if you wanna learn a recipe, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up subscribe and hit the bell as well because I have a new video coming out every single week. Thanks again and I'll see you again next week. Bye. Today we are going to be making mini carbonara quiches. I wanted to do something for my savory, damn it. <laughs> it was really good, hey?